Hi everyone! In this video, we will be talking about one of the multi-tendency capabilities in FortiSort, namely the distributed model where you have a central FortiSort instance running in the central SOC, for example, a service provider's SOC environment, and a remote tenant FortiSort instance, like a customer environment. Here, we have a scenario where you work for a mid-enterprise. The mid-enterprise has a small security team and might have less than five SOC analysts. The resources are limited, and the team can't monitor the environment 24-7. Right. So something your team came up with is to utilize a security service provider to help augment your SOC environment. Using FortiSore, the service provider can help create playbooks to automate tier one alert processes like ingesting alerts, escalating alerts, generating reports and basic threat assessments. Your team can then take over or collaborate and focus on providing rapid responses to incidents crisis management, threat hunting, and improving the overall security posture of your SOC infrastructure. Now your team chose a security service provider with FortiSore due to its ability to, do, um, to have uh, capabilities like powerful customization, flexible multi-tenancy models, quick rapid response platform, and more. Your team is deploying FortiSore in a distributed uh, model to have granular control of what data to send to the security service provider. And you can see this in the diagram shown here with customer C. Alternatively, the customer can choose to have a security service provider fully manage their SOC alerts and incidents through shared tenancy. And you can see that with customer A or dedicated tenancy for customers with uh, performance requirements seen in customer B. So now, let's take a look at FortiSore in action. And seen on the screen here, we have two FortiSore instances running in our demo environment. This tab with the black background represents the central FortiSore instance controlled by the security service provider. Now this tab here with the white background represents customer C in the diagram shown previously and represents the customer environment. The customer security team would aggregate logs and events into a single location and uh, using you know, a SIM solution like FortiSIM or some other third-party SIM product. And then FortiSore would uh, ingest those alerts. Initially, when you first log into FortiSore, you have dashboards that come out of the box and ready to use. You can use these dashboards to cr or create custom ones that's relevant to uh, your responsibilities. Here we have the executive view that an executive might find useful. Things like total alerts resolved, ROI, and how that's measured is configured, can be configured by you. Now the first thing you need to do is ingest alerts and to do that you would need to connect to various sources like a SIM. And if we quickly go into the connector page you can think of this like a marketplace. FortiSource supports over uh, 350 different vendors and different solutions. And this list is con constantly growing. And if you wanted custom uh, support, we also uh, support custom integrations for those that aren't in our marketplace. Now once connected, your team can then ingest the alerts uh, by, uh, and replicate them uh, uh, to the service provider. If we quickly go into settings, we can confirm that the team has already established a secure connection with the central FortiSore located in the security service provider's environment. Once the connection is established, your team is able to choose what data to send over as granularly as at the field level. Now that everything is set up, let's go into an example alert and check it out. Now this alert shows that there has been a potentially malware infected in multiple hosts. Now scrolling through record, we can see the basic details of the alert, like the SLA details, you know, whether the alert has uh, been escalated or not, or whether it's been assigned to someone. And there's also different indicators and records 
that's assigned to this alert. Now here, we see that the attack delivery was a malware disguised as a JPG file. The alert module, which also can be customized, enables analysts to get a fuller picture of whether this is a low-level alert that can be automated, or is this something that requires more attention from someone in your team. Notice here that under the comment section that this alert was updated automatically by a playbook. And this could have been automated using a playbook created, created by a security service provider, so tier one analysts aren't doing these steps manually. And note that the alert has also been escalated into an incident. So now, if we go into the incident module, note that there are also 21 incidents here. If we switch to the service providers 40 soar note that these incidents have also been replicated and that there are also 21 incidents if we click into uh, the the one of the incident record we get a case managed view of how the incidents is being handled and what stage it is at the recommendation tab using 40 source recommendation engine designed with machine learning learning uh, recommends records that analysts can choose to quickly correlate them to this uh, specific incident. And if we look at the visual correlation graph, we see that there are two web servers affected. We also see the different vulnerabilities and indicators. Now security service providers can monitor your environment when your team cannot do the initial uh, assessment of the incident, update incident stage, and uh, collaborate with the customer for the in, uh, to investigate on the incident. For example, as a security provider's analyst, I can use the vulnerabilities detected through a SIM solution, automate the threat lookup through a threat intelligence service like FortiGuard, and populate the findings in a separate module. Now, for demo purposes, we will just Google the vulnerability and populate it in the comment section of the incident. So if we pick one of the vulnerabilities, say 118801, quickly Google it, we see that it's a Zoom client related. We can make a note of this in the comment section, vulnerability 118801, severity info, result, low risk, action recommended, patch endpoint, and then publish it to the uh, to the customer side, and then going back into the customer view, once we uh, publish the comment, we see that uh, the comment made by the security service provider team is now populated in the customer section in the customer view. Once that once the customer sees it, sees this, they can look up the vulnerability perhaps in their vulnerabilities module. Look up affected assets, patch them, and then update the incident record. Now once the incident is resolved, the customer can close out that incident and at the end of the day perhaps the SOC manager can generate the report to review. That concludes the demo and thank you for listening and we hope to see you again.